Europe's biggest aquarium faces legal action over the deaths of 30 hammerhead sharks in their facility, which marine conservation groups allege were mistreated. Sea Shepherd France have just announced that they are filing a lawsuit against Nausicaa Aquarium in the French port of Boulogne near Calais. The reason for the lawsuit is mainly due to the poor handling of hammerhead sharks at the aquarium. The deaths occurred between 2011 and 2018, where 30 hammerhead sharks have died at Nausicaa and Sea Shepherd are accusing them of serious mistreatment and this mistreatment breaches environmental law. The aquarium has hit back at the lawsuit, saying that the sharks didn't just die because they were kept in captivity, the hammerheads died from a fungus which spreads when they are in a weakened state. Yeah. So they also go on to say that this fungal infection is common in the wild. A female has 600 to 700 young during her lifetime, and the survival rate of a hammerhead shark is one for every two or three hundred. Okay, that's one way to fight back. Of course, we don't need, or we do need to um, note that once put in captivity, a shark's life expectancy goes from 30 years down to about 12. So there is some correlation between early death and captivity. So these 30 dead hammerheads are of course a huge embarrassment for the aquarium, which before all of this happened have been known for protecting fish and marine animals and championing environmental causes for the past three decades. A similar thing happened in Vancouver Aquarium where their beluga program and now they have been banned from keeping any whales. Maybe this will happen to Norska Aquarium too. This of course has hurt the wallets of the aquarium already. It cost them two million pounds to build the hammerhead's home and 1.3 million pounds to capture and transport the sharks alone. The worst thing about all of this is that the hammerheads that they actually captured was the scalloped hammerhead, which is known to be the most difficult sharks or one of the most difficult sharks to raise in captivity. So yeah, it was a total waste of money and life. Money that could have been spent on marine conservation and life that could have thrived out in the wild where it already was. So of course we all hope that Sea Shepherd win the case and just like Vancouver Aquarium, Nausicaa gets banned from doing this sort of thing again because you don't really need to keep sharks in captivity to sell tickets. Uh, do you agree with us here at Simply Scuba? If not, let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.